Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon and welcome back to Knowledge Talks ladies and gentlemen. A weekly edutainment program at live specifically to share with you topics that contribute knowledge to the society. News, interviews with guests, tips, question and answer session and yes, knowledge topics will be shared with you throughout the program. Of course, if time permits, during the hour. And yes, every week this will alternate. Some week we have news, some we've got interviews, some of them we've got tips, question and answer session, and, but, objectively, knowledge will be shared. The interviews we do is with guests that are experts, professional and knowledge speakers and contributors uh, will be conducted on a regular basis. We will also be sharing with you knowledge topics so as reviewing some of the latest things, news and share with you tips along with question and answer session. This program, ladies and gentlemen, is a weekly session that I will have with you every week on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. I am with you, your host, Tarek Hilal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Saleh, for an hour, bringing you free knowledge at your doorsteps on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Okay, stay tuned after the music break for today's knowledge topic theme. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarek Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ uh, uh, DJ Saleh with you today here live on Oman Radio FM 90.4 Our topic today is on the future of mobile and specific media What is it? What's unique about it? The benefit this trend has on the industry and everything around and surrounding mobile media and its future Now I'm very happy to be inviting special guest who will be sharing with us his thoughts on the subject and experience about the practice so as making this future a little bit closer for us ladies and gentlemen. Our guest today is engineer Mohammed Farouk, a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering holder with an MBA from USA. Mohammed has almost 20 years of experience in telecom. IT from USA, Middle East and Asia where he has served in technical, academic and managerial capacities. Mohammed is currently attached with a telecom organization where in his free time he has been writing about technology for the past 10 years. He is the honorary senior international editor of Expert Technology Review magazine and it's the Middle Eastern arm IT Insight Middle East. Mohammed keeps close eye on emerging technologies, industry trends and their impact on society and today it is my pleasure to bring him on air with us here on Oman FM 90.4 to speak about the future of mobile. Engineer Mohammed, Salamu Alaikum and welcome on air. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that, uh, Engineer Mohammed. It is, you know, having people like you on the air is that what uh, ensures that the success keeps going. So thank you, really, for for accepting to come uh, and and uh, and to take some of your precious time, of course, to come here and share with us your knowledge and experience on technology. Of course, we're going to have a lot of discussion coming uh, forward in the, uh, in, in, the, in the future sessions, but today our discussion is on future of mobile. Our topic today, as I said, is on, is, is on the future of mobile and specifically the media bit of the fence. Now, to start our discussion today, uh, Mohammed, could you kindly define what is meant by mobile as a media? Different view of the mobile. We shall look at mobile as a media. 
Uh, if we go a little bit back into time, uh, we will see the first media as print. Mm-hmm. This was around the year 1500. Mm-hmm. And we saw books and papers and periodicals, newspaper, magazines, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. The second wave was recording. This came towards 1890s. And this resulted in music, and music was introduced into games, into movies, into theater shows, and so on. Okay. This was followed by cinema, which came around the 1910s. Now, this had a very powerful and profound impact since not only could you hear, but you could actually see what's going on. This was followed by radio, which had a far more uh, reaching penetration, and this came around the 1920s, mm-hmm. followed by the TV, which happened around 1950s. So these have all been different media. And the six media, which we are very familiar with, especially the youth, is the Internet, mm-hmm. which sort of started to mature or go mainstream around 1995 or so. However, the latest media that we have now is mobile, which started mm-hmm. to pick up, really pick up around 2000 and above. Mm-hmm. Now, some people argue that mobile is the same as internet. However, that is not the case. As a matter of fact, mobile is to internet what TV is to radio. This is how different they are. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how mobile is to internet. You're, you're comparing it to how TV is to radio. Yes. So internet gives you the world, mobile gives you the mobility to carry that world in your pocket or in the palm of your hand. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Of course, that's that's the amazing beauty of having a mobile. Now, let, just for the sake of clarity, here when you mean when you say mobile, you mean the handsets, right? Because anything can be a mobile, like device, tablets, everything. Are you specifically focusing on the handset? Now we've got the tablet, we've got the tablet, and uh, things of that nature. Yes. However, if you look at tablet, you can call it a mobile device, but you cannot carry it in your pocket. True, very true. Right? Yeah. So from that angle, mobile still is the same in terms of devices or these little gadgets that we carry around. Yeah. And mobile is more disruptive than internet was 10 years ago. Wow, you're saying uh, mobile are more disruptive? Yes. What do you mean by when you say disruptive? when the internet came, it shook a lot of other industries. I'll give you an example. A lot of the legacy mail, or which we call jokingly the snail mail, yeah. uh, went out of business thanks to email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world doesn't know that on an average there are double the number of SMS sent compared to email on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. So just look at, the, look at the difference, how huge it is. Nah, that's very uh, true. That's why mobile is a hugely disruptive uh, technology. Most of the segments have not yet figured out how to make the best out of it and how to make money out of this opportunity. No, that's very true. I agree because imagine everybody has, I mean, almost everybody today has a handset. Uh, talking even, although not something that is encouraged, but you find even some school uh, uh, children having mobile handsets today. Not that it's encouraged again, but um, as you s- rightly said it, that is disruptive and you find everybody almost having uh, mobile handsets. This is something very interesting you said. I'll, I'll, I'll add in a little bit, a little interesting statistics. Okay. There are more mobile sets in the world today than there are toothbrushes. Now that's saying something. Wow. Yeah, of course, it makes sense because you mean you would use one toothbrush, but you might use two to three mobile phones, especially if there's different mobile operators. Or, or you have one mobile using at home, one using at office, or, you know, or, or, or whatever. So I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, talking about, uh, I just want uh, uh, one, 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 point to go one step back uh, when you talked about um, uh, you said that the mobiles are being uh, disruptive. Do you see this to be an advantage or disadvantage? Uh, this is a very great question that you posted. Just like every other uh, technological disruption in history, there, it seemed initially as something negative. However, these challenges need to be viewed as opportunities. And that's what I said, that tremendous amount of money can be made by this uh, convergence, and we'll talk about it a little bit uh, down the line, 
uh, both by the uh, government sector as well as the private sector. If the cards are played well. Yeah, making making the best and utilizing or maximizing the the the, the potential that this mobile has in in in, in our lives and industry, right? right. Uh, what are the unique benefits of a mobile? Uh, very interesting. Uh, so far, seven benefits have been identified, uh-huh. and these are above and beyond the seven benefits that have been presented by the other six media recording cinema, radio, TV, and the internet over the last hundreds of years. So, the, you know, before I get into that, I must say this is a very interesting time to be alive. <laughs> uh, the first thing is mobile is a personal mass media device. Mm-hmm. It's your mobile. You know, people feel very awkward and asking for their mobile, even if you have a call, because they've got all their personal material on it, and even their, their, their business-related material. Uh, second thing is mobile is a permanently carried media. Uh, now you've got permission to use it on the phone. Uh, there are some devices which are waterproof and the idea is you can even carry one when you're swimming. I don't know why you would want to carry one, but the option is available. <laughs> uh, a lot of people sleep with their mobile phones because that's your alarm clock. Yeah, uh, true. A lot of them take them to the bathroom. A lot of them use them in the bathroom. Ouch. Uh, the third one is Mobile is an always on mass media. So it has the power of connecting with anybody, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the next one, fourth one is mobile is the only mass media with a built in payment mechanism. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a tremendous power for any vertical, be it retail or, or, or any other content which is pushed over the airways. And remember, anything that can be digital, that it can be mobile. Okay. And the next one is, the fifth one is, mobile is the only media available at the point of creative inspiration. Uh-huh. So let's say you're somewhere on a weekend, on a desert safari, sitting somewhere relaxed, you get an idea, immediately you take your phone out, you do a voice recording method, you do a drawing, you send a message, you take a picture, share it with your loved one or make a call to someone if, uh, if that might be. Never before in the history of the world have we got so much power at the tips of our fingertips. Okay, that's very true. That's very true. And, yeah, the next one is mobile is the only media with correct audience measurement. Now, this is a very, very powerful uh, thing which is available especially to the mobile operators. The if they like, they can get to know their users in a very intimate way, and this can generate a lot of business and a win-win situation for both sides. Mm-hmm. The seventh point is mobile captures the social context of media consumption. For example, you could be at the festival with your loved ones, you just take a picture and you share it, and once you combine this with the power of location-based services, uh, the level of customized Marketing and advertisement is just amazing. Again, we are seeing a lot of these for the first time. These things have never been available to mankind before, and none of the experimentation has been done in the past. So these are the seven unique benefits of a mobile phone. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sure after this show, our viewers will... Uh, You'll never look at their mobile phone in the same way. Uh, definitely, definitely. The, 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 the knowledge and the advice that you're sharing, mashallah, Muhammad, are very, very uh, valuable. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, people, don't, I'm talking about general, people don't realize the importance of things un- unless they lose them, you know? Right. So once you lose them, for instance, if there is, think about it, tomorrow we wake up, we don't have mobile technology, and look at what happened. People have already used to it, and they said, ah, so that thing, you know, that tool was very, very useful. Uh, talking about the unique benefits that you've just shared, do you think here in Oman the industries are uh, are utilizing uh, these opportunities and are, or, or in, your, in your professional 
uh, experience do you think they know about it or you think they they don't they're not aware of uh, aware of it you know some so what happens uh, Mohammed's people you sometimes go and buy a car right a Lexus or Mercedes whatever it is and then you've got all the fantastic new functionalities that is there but you only know one thing to drive the car from one place to another but you don't know how to use the GPS you don't know how to use the different features that are inside there so do you think the same thing happens to the industries here in Oman Yeah, very true. Very, very true. I, I, I agree with you uh, totally, Engineer Mohammed. Uh, we, we, when we were talking about the, the at the beginning of the show today and talking about the uh, the future of uh, uh, mobile, and then uh, you've mentioned that it has uh, w- due to the uh, emailing and the mo- uh, the penetration of mobiles now, or, or the messaging uh, per se. Now the snail mail most of the people who are into the snail mail business have gone uh have gone have gone have gone bankrupt unless i'm wrong okay. so let me ask you this question are you still using snail mail <laughs> I totally agree with you. Definitely, it uh, uh, the, the the change of how, of how inter- internet has impacted our lives and the usage. Uh, definitely, the snail mail uh, has decreased. But you know, today, I, I, for instance, if I would like to buy something overseas, 
and that something is an item, uh, I think maybe it's the, maybe probably one of the only ways would be snail mail for them to deliver it to me. Otherwise, uh, using uh, just the internet, I, I won't be able to get it, right? Do you agree with that? Do, do you agree with that? I, I respect that. So the key word is really the digital. Anything that is digital, then that would be uh, replaced by using mobiles uh, technology. Right. I, yeah. mean, I mean, look, look at uh, the music. Music was one of the first ones to discover and understand mobile as a platform. Yeah. And they did this 10 years ago. Yes. And this was followed by gaming, and then came mobile TV, and uh, this was followed by, you know, news alerts, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Talking about the industries, what are the what are the industry trends now, uh, Mahmoud? Yeah, uh, this is uh, again very interesting. We all like to look into the crystal ball and try to figure out the next thing before the uh, the other person does. So we need to look at what makes mobile so great. Who who is playing their weight behind it? If we focus only on information technology, and that's uh, I understand your cup of tea as well. Yeah. The biggest uh, desktop maker, HP, says future is mobile. Yeah. If you look at the uh, biggest laptop manufacturer, Lenovo, they are saying uh, future is mobile. Yeah. If you look at Apple, biggest tablet maker in the world, is going mobile. Yeah. Biggest chip maker, Intel, is going mobile. Biggest software company, Microsoft, mobile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Biggest internet company, Google, is putting all their, their decks on mobile. But true. Biggest social media. That's very true, very true. And it's just the, the people who really realize the potential, people like yourself, mashallah, is you need to go and tap the market because the market's so big and it's ripe right now. It's an opportunity to go and make a lot of things. Uh, SMS was widely used, okay? What's your feedback uh, on it today and its future? Yeah. 
height and all the, you know, so many billions of download of apps and things of that nature, uh, we have been sidetracked into forgetting SMS. SMS is a mature technology. It is still doing its job, and it will be around. It generates the maximum profit for an operator in terms of different services. And SMS, even now, you, like I mentioned earlier, you uh, the, the world is spending twice the number of SMS compared to an email on, on a regular basis. If you look at purely on a statistical basis, mm-hmm. SMS still has a huge power and uh, it will continue. Even for our friends who are very big on the other platforms, in, in terms of you have the you have the over the over the top applications where you have uh, different uh, platforms which are used for social networking, uh, still SMS dominates. You must have noticed, sometimes you, you send somebody a message on one of the other uh, OTT apps, yep. and then later on you send them a message, hey, man, did you get my message? I sent you X, Y, Z, yeah? <laughs> and, and the other thing, if you, if you do a global study, uh, and if you look at, for example, Asia, like China and Korea and Japan, which are some of the most advanced, uh, mobile markets in the world, mm-hmm. and then you move on towards Europe, you will realize that every, if, uh, if I can use the word, continent is tilted in favor of one particular app. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. For example, WhatsApp might be very big here, and then Viber might be very popular in our neighboring country, and then some XYZ might be very popular in, for example, in Korea. So True. it's more of a localized flavor, and then there are issues also about availability, right? You have to have a data connection, be it Wi-Fi, be it, you know, edge, 2G, 3G, 4G, or whatever, uh, uh, which is at times not available, or it costs money. Yeah. But the guaranteed way of communication in the shortest way, and you will see that if somebody sends an email, they expect a reply in 24 hours. Let's say 50 to 60 percent of the people expect a reply in 24 hours. And they'll check the email and see whether you have replied to me or not. Yeah. And SMS, 80 percent of the people expect a reply in five minutes. So hmm. you can look at it as instant gratification. And SMS still rules. And in my humble opinion, I think it will continue because it's a global phenomenon. There are no standards if, for example, you're on TV in States or in UK or, or in Europe or Africa, I know you will get my SMS, don't matter on which network I am. So currently, yes, there is a big hype about OTT apps and, you know, okay, well, you know, they're making all the money and the operators are making all the investment. However, for serious business-minded affairs, SMS still rules. And there are, and this goes in towards culture as well. Like for example, uh, you know, the people in in Philippines, they are very shy, so they send on an average their daily SMS traffic is huge compared to the other countries. Yeah. Right. So this is still a very strong money-making option for the operator, but it needs to be groomed and taken to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I I I definitely agree that that SMS still uh, 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 is 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 a technology that it is used. Uh, nevertheless, is is I think it is in my that's personal opinion again. It is impacting the telecom operators. Why? Uh, it's because today everyone almost is using these apps that are, for example, the WhatsApp to to communicate. Why? Is because not only you can send messages that are longer. Because with a text, with an SMS, you just send 160 characters only, a message. But uh, needless to mention, you, there's a money that you pay. But with the data, of course, you do pay for it, but uh, uh, you pay much less. Needless to mention, you can send a voice, picture, and so on. Um, what about MMS then? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. That's the, the, the other brother of SMS. Mm. Uh, initially, just like, for example, mobile TV and, you know, uh, we, we thought mobile calls would pick up and everybody would be just, you know, staring at their phones and nobody would use voice calls. Yeah. Again, it has to do a lot with culture and the learning curve, and if, if uh, you know, if you may say, if say so. Uh, MMS is a great service. Uh, yeah. Listeners might be surprised, well, you know, nobody yeah. uses it. Yeah. That's the whole problem. Nobody uh, uh, uses it. Uh, because m- it's especially for uh, companies, uh, although there's some SMEs yeah. up to, up to normal companies, up to 
Mohammed. Mohammed, I'll just take a quick break for the Adhan and we'll get back to, to, to our program today. Thank you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarak Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Saleh, with you today here live on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Our topic today is on future of mobile and in specific media. And our guest is engineer Mohamed Farouk, who has so far shared fantastic and very, very valuable insights on the future of mobile, the insights, the importance, the benefits that we have. Uh, before the music break, we were, we were talking about the MMS. Uh, Mohamed, could you please share your feedback about MMS? That's, that's, that's uh, uh, very, very interesting. Uh, for me personally, I, have, I don't use much or maybe even nil use MMS, to be honest. I was quite fanatic about the, the technology at first because just for the sake of learning uh, and knowing how it is works and it's fantastic. But the, 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 the limitation of only sending 50 kilobytes uh, a message and also... Uh, the the cumbersome way of setting it up on some of the mobile handsets, you know, I'll sort of oh, avoid it. But again, that's again my personal opinion. No, 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 I agree with you. This is uh, not just your personal view. Yeah. Uh, I've heard this from a lot of people. Again, I've heard the same thing for about Bluetooth. Yeah. And yeah. the technology is only as good as its simplicity. You can make the best thing in the world. However, and it's coming back to the earlier part of the show, if somebody doesn't show me how to use it, if somebody doesn't show me the benefit of using it, and if somebody has made it so technical, that for an average layman, he would rather shy away from it than to put in the pain of learning it, then that technology is a failure. I respect that. I respect yeah. that very much, uh, Engineer Mohammed. Uh, during the program today, you spoke about, or you mentioned the term, grand convergence. Right. What is a con- grand convergence? Multiplied by X is mobile. 
Mm. Give you an example. You take a mobile phone and you multiply it by a camera. The end product is a mobile with a camera. Mm. The camera as a device disappears. It's only mobile. Right? Yeah. And you can repeat this formula with, with, with any other device. Like with your camera, magnifying glass, radio, so on. So you can, you can, you know, go the list and so on. So, mm. the, the other thing that helps mobile in this domain is that anything that can be digital can be mobile. And um, we've already talked about different content like e-books, or you can call them handbooks, and music, and video, and, you know, pictures, and so on and so forth. So, mobile is impacting and will impact 15 million industries. Now, this has never been heard of before. Again, this is not just a threat, it's an opportunity. Opportunity for those who can understand and harness the power of mobile. So if you look at the 15 major industries like banking, credit, insurance, uh, watches and cameras, by the way, 90% of cameras and watches are already gone mobile. Yeah, true. You look, yeah, you look at mapping, you look at print, you look at broadcast, social media, gaming, music, advertisement, telecom, internet, and computer. So all these 15 industries are going to have a huge impact, and they're already going through some sort of transformation and trying to find their direction. Telecom alone is $1.5 trillion worth of industry globally. Okay? Okay. And this grand convergence, we're looking at like almost $6 trillion worth of uh, opportunity, that's like 6,000 billion. Yep. Uh, I, I, I don't know that ever in the past such an opportunity has availed itself to humanity, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. So there is a huge opportunity. The trick is you cannot treat mobile as the internet. It needs different kind of approach, different kind of strategies, different kind of innovation, you can't just put your faith in, oh, well, you know, XYZ app has so many billion downloads. You need to see at the end of the day what was the cash formula, how much money did somebody make from that whole exercise, or was it only five seconds of fame and now it's gone, okay? Yeah. So mobile optimizes the internet. For example, you can have a great uh, website that if somebody tries to approach that website on their smartphone, they would just get overwhelmed by the, the little text and, you know, the, the huge and busy screen, and they might just lose their sense. True. If, if you optimize it, you will see more sales, you will see more stickiness, you will see more people staying at your site for longer. Yeah, yeah, very true. This is, the, this, this is the, the one of the amazing characteristics of mobile, again, for people who can understand this. So this grand convergence is knocking on our door. Uh, what's left to be seen is who's going to be the leader in taking the bull by the hand and who will be the follower. A potential opportunity is humongous. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Uh, this, 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 the Grand Convergence is definitely a, 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 an area that people should not uh, uh, miss out at all, uh, as you said, uh, Mohammed. Talking about mobile s- sites, uh, isn't it, however, that the uh, owners of the website, the designers, whatever, they are supposed to create a mobile friendly site to ensure that their sites are friendly when people are visiting them? Oh, definitely. You see, uh, the, there are a couple of uh, issues which need to be resolved and different people and different capacities are working on them. One is the screen size of the device in your hand or in your pocket. Yeah. The second thing is your capability in communicating with that device. Uh, yeah. Whether it's uh, voice recognition, whether you're typing on a trackpad, whether it's a QWERTY keyboard. So these are the issues. Currently, if you can optimize your site with few keys, a few options, and big options, mm-hmm. that will definitely uh, get you noticed compared to the other websites. And I do agree with you that mobile sites must be different from their internet counterparts. Yeah. Uh, and I'll give you an example. In this domain, what I have found is certain airlines, they have amazing websites. And they have noticed that the number of ticket bookings are much, much more than mobile than they are on the internet. <laughs> yeah. 
Inshallah. Now, I want to look at one uh, important uh, social area, which is the, the, the health implications. Now, we've talked about all the benefits. Okay, sorry, I guess I've uh, lost the line. Okay, let's let just take a quick break and we return to our show today. Do you have a problem and can't find a solution? Knowledgeoman.com Are you an expert and would like to share your knowledge? Knowledgeoman.com would you like to know what is new in information technology? Knowledgeoman.com Then join Knowledgeoman.com today, share your knowledge, and contribute for generating talent in Oman. And contribute for generating talent in Oman. Knowledgeoman.com Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tariq Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, Al Badri, with you here today, live on Oman FM 90.4. Our topic today is on the future of mobile and in specific media. Our guest is engineer Mohammed Farouk, and he has been sharing with us valuable information about the future, so as the current trends uh, that is happening today with mobile technology. Mohammed, how are you? Yeah, but one thing, you know, Mohammed, despite all the benefits that it happens with the mobile, of course, we're all the places that you go with, but we are, we are, at the end of the day, attached to a network operator. So if anything happens, you know, like what just happened, <laughs> we lose connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, uh, like I mentioned before, every uh, technology has its pros and cons. True. However, the speed of change is so fast and so forward. Definitely. Uh, No, 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 true, I understand that. Yeah, true. Now, what, the question that I was asking you before we, uh, we, we got cut off was uh, the health implications with mobile. What, what, what can you speak about them? Yes, usage of mobile. I respect that. Uh, you know, they, they, they work in their own domains and uh, 
there are a lot of studies out there with sides depending what side of the argument. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, mashallah. No, no, that's very, very true. I mean, it has been spoken. Uh, people speak a lot about it. There have been many conferences that has been done. Uh, and, and it's a study that has been studied till today, the impact that it has on, on people using the mobile. Uh, Mohammed, you are the, uh, of course, the owner and also the editor of the uh, one of the uh, uh, leading IT insight uh, IT portals in the Middle East, which is known as IT Insight, IT Insight Middle East. Yeah. Mashallah, I'm I'm one of the people who uh, uh, like to visit your site to to view the articles that you post, which are which are, which are very very nice, uh, Mashallah, and very very valuable. And I also encourage people to visit as well. Could you please speak a bit about the site? Yeah, thank you very much for for, for your kind words. Um, I started writing about technology, I think, about more than a decade ago. Wow, mashallah. And then it, it, we started a magazine, then we went online, uh, and we had this, uh, we still have IT Insight Middle East, which is IT Insight Henry Dot Info Portal. Yeah. Uh, updated regularly, regularly around the clock. We are on social media. As a matter of fact, you can make an account and you can post your own news. We focus mainly, mainly on industry trends, uh, insights, what's going on, things that happen beyond the headlines. And we are the middle east arm of our parent uh, company, which is uh, experttechnologyreview.com. Uh, in experttechnologyreview.com, the articles are more of the research caliber. They are deeply knowledge-based. Uh, they talk about futuristic technologies, they talk about the social, economical impact of current mm. technology uh, on the individual, consumer, corporate, government, and we also try to attend a number of global events and bring the latest trends and cutting edge, for example, how mobile is uh, shaping up the healthcare uh, vertical and how mobile mm. is just revolutionizing the, uh, the financial sector in terms of mobile payments and digital money. Mashallah, so we, try I to, we try to gather this knowledge from wherever we can and bring it, of mm. course, with their so our viewers can benefit. Ma- mashallah, I have personally visited and I also recommend others as well who would like a one place to get a source of information as far as IT in the Middle East is concerned. Engineer Mohammed. Thank you very, very much uh, for joining us today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Had, you know, the program I have it is just for one hour, but I know with you there is many, many hours that uh, we will have in the coming future, inshallah, to speak on the various things related to technology. Anytime you want, uh, just let me know. I would like to dedicate my presence on this show to my teacher, Sami Ahonen, uh, with whom I had the opportunity of spending a few days, and he gave me this wonderful insight and teach me and also encourage me to spread the word. And I want to leave your listeners with one question. Find out what is the age mass media. MashaAllah. Don't, don't Google it. Find out what it is. Thank you very, very much, Engineer Muhammad. Meanwhile, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you the very best and success in all you do, inshaAllah. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you. You're very welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our program for this week. I hope you all had an intriguing time with us. If you have an interesting topic, feedback, or comment you wish to share, please write to me at www.parak.net. Let us catch up again next week on Tuesday, same time, 5.30 p.m. for a knowledge session. I'm Tariq Hilal Barwani along with our studio engineer Al-Badri wishing you all a happy and a pleasant weekend. Ma'as-salama.